Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your daily vibes for Saturday and Sunday, May 12th and 13th. This is for the weekend, okay? So, you know, my daily vibes, the energy is fluid anyway. Um, so yeah, this is for the weekend of May 12th and 13th. I want to wish all you mothers out there a happy Mother's Day. Um, you all know how I feel about mothers if you've watched my Let's Talks. Uh, tell your mother you love her because you'll never get another. You could be dealing with somebody who's bringing you down. Ain't that wonderful? Um, you could be dealing with a naysayer, somebody that has nothing good to say. All right, a person that is immature and has a self-image problem, and you know how misery loves company and all. You know, you could be dealing with somebody who is miserable and they just want to bring you right down with them. Okay. So, you know, this gets old. It does get old. So maybe it's time for you to let them go. And you've been holding on to this person. And who knows why? Who knows why? But it's been causing some stress and some depression and anxiety. Maybe you're dealing with this person who's paranoid. I don't know. Either way, you may be like, ah, this is just too much for me. I, I don't even... You may be trying to stall, you know, you may be trying to stall somebody from coming toward, they may be trying to be stall you, stall your progress. They may be wanting to communicate with you, but when they do communicate with you, or you try to communicate with them, they have nothing good to say, you know what I mean? You're dealing with somebody who is very, you know, who is always the victim, and be... <laughs> You know, I don't want to repeat myself over and over and over again, but it feels like you have been, they've been testing you, put it that way. They've been testing your patience, and you may be like, shit, man, this is getting old. I'm not sure how much longer I can take care of, I can deal with this. You may be thinking about getting the hell out of this situation, but you've been stalling from getting out of this situation because, you know... Who wants to give up on somebody that really needs help, okay? But you are dealing with somebody who is very pessimistic. And if they don't want help, you can't help them. You know what I'm saying? So it feels as though... Somebody is refusing to change their life, and you may be deciding to walk away. You know, you've, you've stayed long enough. They've really tested your patience. Your patience is being tested, put it that way. Yeah, you're dealing with somebody who's unreasonable and unrealistic. You can't even reason with this person. It's like, <laughs> damn, damn. Yeah, they, they cause burdens. They bring burdens into your life. It's too heavy to carry around. It's like, you know, you, they could, it could be costing you money. They may be asking you to borrow money or they're costing you money because, you know, they're the victim. They can't take care of themselves and they need your help and they need a ride here and they need a ride there and they, they need this and they need that. And, you know, they're, they're putting their problems on to you, you know, that you're their savior, right? Right? I mean, that's what's going on here. 
So it feels as though you are carrying around somebody else's burdens because they're not making any effort to change. All right. Yikes. So, you know, you're probably, you've probably been trying to come up with a plan, a solid and practical plan to help this person to move them along the way. It could even be a child or some one of your friends or even a partner. I don't know. You're dealing with, you've been trying to come up with a plan to help them along the way, but they're refusing to take any steps in a new direction. So I feel like this weekend, you know, is about perhaps letting go You know, it's kind of like tough love. And I'm sorry, I don't know where this is coming from. But when you, sometimes you have to offer tough love for people to change. <laughs> so it's kind of funny that that would happen right around Mother's Day because that's what mothers have to do. Interesting, huh? So anyway, it feels as though this is a time of hope and it's a time of inspiration if you can release you have to release something you have to let go of this person that is or you need to release the need to take care of you need to, you know this person that needs to take care of themselves oh god where the hell is this message coming from somebody needs to let somebody learn their own lessons and take care of themselves and because this person is not taking any initiative, they're not listening, they're not coming up with a plan, they're not following a plan, they're not being practical, they're not willing to take any steps, they're causing um, chaos and dis disorganization and financial losses for you. And it's you're going to have to... You're going to have to drop this burden from your life so that they find the healing and the hope that they need to find. Okay, they need to find it. They need to find their own peace of mind. You can't find it for them. Somebody needs to find their own wish fulfillment. It doesn't, it doesn't begin with you. You know? If they're dissatisfied with their lives and they're unreasonable, you can't protect them forever. I feel like this is this is a weekend of tough love. Where somebody communicates that they are not going to carry around all this responsibility and burden anymore. It's time for you to take care of yourself and take the next step. Somebody has lost a lot of sleep worrying about another person who isn't putting in any effort to change their own lives. Whew. So I feel like this weekend is a weekend of communicating and taking action very quickly. To shift the responsibility back to the person who owns it.
somebody's being taken advantage of by another person who doesn't want to put in any effort. You know, they're they're living in misery. They're the victim, and they they aren't. They just aren't doing their part. And somebody's been doing all the work. And I feel like this weekend is a weekend of saying, you know what? It's not all mine. This responsibility isn't all mine. You're gonna have to. You're going to have to step up to the plate and stop feeling like you're the victim and the world is out to get you. And if you don't want to listen and you don't want to come up with a plan for your future, then I guess I'm going to have to stop enabling you. Inspire passion. <laughs> Life devoid of passion can be a boring, uninspired un 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 blank canvas that slowly drains the soul. Now is a time to reignite your passions and rejoin life. This is an opportunity to set new goals, which will in turn reconnect you with all that is sacred. Somebody is in here that is watching this is either playing the victim, being very pessimistic, and unable to look at life from a new perspective. They're being unreasonable. They're living in misery when all they have to do is come up with a plan and take the next step. That's one scenario. Another scenario is somebody is enabling another person. And it's time to make them step up to the plate by stopping. If they have to take care of themselves, they will find the passion within them to do so. Life devoid of passion can be a boring, uninspired blank canvas that slowly drains the soul. Somebody's soul is not flaming, you know, it's, it's, it's not burning bright. It's not. They're very dissatisfied. But they're also very pessimistic. Woe is me. And somebody else has been coddling them and taking care of them and enabling them so that they don't have to make any changes. What does a mother do? She coddles. She does. But she also says no when she needs to say no. Somebody needs to say no to another person. The burden is yours. Deal with it. I will help you as long as I see that you are doing something about it. I'm not saying not to help this person. I'm saying to, to push them to take the positive steps to change their view, to change their life. So anyway, this is what I have for today. Happy Mother's Day.